keyboard shortcuts are one of the best way to fast new editing and save time. The ability to assign keystrokes at our own convenience is kind of like a blessing. This not only allows us to edit faster than ever, but also more neatly and precisely. So if you haven't heard it, then yes, we finally have the keyboard shortcut option in Filmora 10. So without any further ado, let me enlighten you. Hey there everyone, I'm Ima Shumara and you are watching Techno Mania. So to use the keyboard shortcuts in Filmora 10, simply open it and now here on the top left click on the files and now you will see the keyboard shortcut option. Just simply click on it and now a new window will pop up. Now the best part about this new function is that we don't need to manually search for each function as Filmora has already sorted them into a category for us. Like here in the file category, we have keyboard shortcuts for things like creating a new project or opening a new project, saving or importing media and stuff. Well, if we scroll down, then we can see the shortcuts for editing features like undo, redo or cut, copy and paste. So yeah, there are multiple categories of keyboard shortcuts and you can edit them as you see fit. Now to assign a customized keyboard shortcut, let's say like here for the undoing a step, we have the shortcut control plus Z and for the Mac users is probably going to be command plus Z. But you know what, we want to assign some other keyboard shortcut here for our own convenience. So to assign a shortcut, simply hover your cursor on the shortcut box and then tap on it one time. Now it will become empty and simply press on any combination of the key or any single key that you want to. So let's say that if I want to undo a step and I don't want to press Ctrl plus Z all the time. So I will simply assign the key Z only for it. So now whenever I will press the keyboard Z while editing, then it will automatically undo the step for me. Well, this is exactly how you assign a keyboard shortcut in Filmora 10. Also, one more thing guys. Let's say that you don't want to use your newly assigned keyboard shortcut and you have accidentally applied a keyboard shortcut and you might have forgotten what your keyboard shortcut used to be. So don't worry, just simply click on the restore defaults and it will revamp the old settings for you. Pretty nifty, right? So yeah guys, this is pretty much how we do it. If you have any more query, then you can write them down in the description box below and I will try to solve it for you. This is me Himanshi Mehra, signing out and I will see you later. Thank you.